So today we're talking about toilet paper for your RV. Stay tuned because we're gonna do an experiment to find out which one is the best. Hi, I'm Holly with Let's Go Now Adventures and our YouTube channel is about all things camping. Whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. So today we are talking about RV toilet paper. You know, it's the great RV toilet paper debate. There's so many different toilet papers out there that you can use and so many different videos out there about which one you should use. You know, I found that by watching some of these videos, the actual end result varied as much as the different types of toilet paper. So I wanted to find out for myself. So we've got a, six different varieties of toilet paper and we are going to break this down between three important factors. One, cost, two, softness and effectiveness, and then three, the way that it breaks down. You know, it's so important that your RV toilet paper breaks down so it doesn't get stuck on those sensors. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out and talk cost. Now these are ranging from least expensive to most expensive. Now some of these packages are bigger, so I figured out the cost as if each pack were a four pack. Okay, so the first one is just a generic brand that I got at Walmart. It ran me 99 cents, so you're looking at about 25 cents per roll. Uh, the next one is our Scott toilet paper, which I got at the Dollar Tree. So 99 cents, and so once again, you're looking at about 25 cents per roll. Okay, so our third one is the Great Value, which is the Walmart brand. So for a package of four of these, I realize this is a bigger package, but to break down the cost, this would run you 30 cents per roll. Moving on to the Kirkland brand, which is Costco. Uh, a package of four would run you about 50 cents per roll. The next one is the Scott RV toilet paper, so specifically for RVs. Now, once again, this is gonna run you a little bit more. It breaks down to be 75 cents per roll. And then moving on to our last one, the Camco brand. I also purchased this at Walmart, but it runs approximately $5 for four of these, which breaks out to be $1.25 per roll. Is it worth it? Let's find out. So keep in mind as we're doing this experiment, uh, you have to weigh in cost versus value. Take a look at our Kirkland brand toilet paper. That is a big, thick roll compared to our little generic uh, roll of toilet paper. So let's see how they hold up. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna take three sheets of each roll and you know, kind of test it for softness. This generic brand is pretty rough. <laughs> but it is only 99 cents. Let's see how that holds up. The next one is the Scott toilet paper and I did get this at the Dollar Tree. And that's pretty rough. That's a rough toilet paper. Let's get that in the water. Next one is the good value or the great value. Is it a great value? Got the three sheets. That's pretty soft. You know, I'm kind of used to the great value brand anyway, so that's pretty good. Our next one is the Kirkland brand, the Costco brand. Let's take off three sheets of that. Now that's really soft. So far this is the winner in softness. Kirkland, let's go ahead and get that in the water. The next one is the Scott RV specialty toilet paper. Let's take three sheets off there. Uh, more on the rough side, not too bad though. And then our last one, the Camco RV specialty toilet paper. Oops, that was four. Got our three sheets. It's not too bad, but it definitely does not win as far as softness. But, you know, if it breaks down the best, it may be worth it. Okay, so the toilet paper's in and the dissolve hopefully has started to happen. So what I'm gonna do is just take a lid on each one of these and give it just a gentle shaking motion, you know, to kind of simulate the RV as if you were driving. Let's go ahead and then we will leave it 
you know, this is kind of debatable, but we're gonna leave it for about an hour. I think by giving it a full hour, that will give us a pretty good idea of how well this breaks down. Couple shakes, little gentle rocking. You know, I'm actually really excited to see how this experiment turns out. Okay, let the clock begin. We'll see you in an hour. So let's take a look at our generic. So that's kind of just falling apart. So, okay, that's good to see. Moving on to our Scott. This is the one I got from Dollar Tree. And look, that's breaking up. So that's another good sign. Okay, on to our good value. Is it a good value or is it a great value? Oh wow, yeah, that's just falling apart. Okay, moving on to the Kirkland. Okay, that's one solid piece. Uh, it's breaking up a tiny bit, but it's pretty much all together. Okay, moving on to the Scott RV, the specialty toilet paper. Um, it did break in two, but it's pretty much solid pieces. Okay, on to the Camco. This is, is it worth the money to spend the $5? And it's, once again, it's kind of like the Scott RV. It's broken up a little bit, but a little bit more solid than some of these others. Let's go back to this great value. Look at that, that's just pretty much in little tiny pieces. Very comparable to this one here on the end, the generic. That's just in tiny little pieces too. So is it worth it to spend the extra money on the specialty RV toilet paper? Drum roll please. Well, I think it's a clear winner with the everyday great value. And yes, it did turn out to be a great value. You know, if you compare the cost with the softness, with the breakdown, this was a winner by far. Now granted, the first two uh, toilet papers, the generic and the regular Scott from the Dollar Tree did break down, but they were also much more thin and not as soft. So once again, you combine all those factors and I really think the great value is a true winner. And I know that we actually in our RV have used the Scott RV and I think we are going to be changing. So let us know which one you use. I'd be interested to find out what you guys have been using and if you're gonna make the switch. So thank you so much for joining us. It was great to have you here. Hey, if you got some value, give us a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel. So until the next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.